Here's how to merge multiple static meshes into one in Unreal Engine, plus a handful of other essential things you'll need to know about this process. I'm Bodhi the Movie Maker, and I learned how to do this working on my animated short horror film based on my novel, Northport 1999, that I am making in Unreal Engine. If you find this tutorial useful, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell, and leave a comment. Help, please! I'm lost! First, let's add some static meshes to the level. I will add some shapes to the level, and then stretch and rotate them into a sort of arch. Now I will select all of the shapes. I'll go to the mode drop down and select modeling mode. Now in the sidebar on the left side of the screen I will select X form which brings up our transform and convert tools and I will click merge. By default it's going to make this into a new object with the name combined. I won't change any settings. Now click Accept and all the static meshes have been merged. It's that simple. But now you need to know a few more things. Let's apply a texture. Boom! The texture now covers the entire merged mesh. What if I want to split these meshes apart again? Okay, go back to the modeling mode, which is in X form where we left it, and with your new mesh selected, click Split this time, and then click Accept. And now we are back to three separate meshes. Let's hit Control Z and undo that for now. When you merge the meshes in Unreal Engine, it creates a new mesh. Let's find where that new mesh is stored. Select your merged mesh, go to the Details panel, and under Static Mesh, click this Browse To icon, and it will show you where the new mesh you created is located. It is by default named combine underscore and a string of characters. Now we can drag that out and use that new mesh. As you can see here, I merged these meshes before applying a new texture. That is why this one has a white default texture. Keep in mind, you can merge multiple static meshes with multiple textures, and each mesh will retain its texture. You simply have to apply the textures to the meshes before merging them. But what if I don't like the way that this texture has scaled to my new merged mesh? You can see the texture got kind of stretched in certain areas. Let's fix that. Go to the modeling mode, select UVs in the sidebar to open up the tools that allow us to create and edit UVs. Then click transform UVs. Now each side becomes a different clickable surface. Click on any surface of your mesh. Use the gizmo to adjust the position, scale, and rotation of the texture on that specific surface. Once you have adjusted the texture to your liking, click Accept. Important note about textures with displacement or tessellation. You can clearly see these meshes have a texture with displacement turned on. It's especially apparent on the sphere. But when I select all of these meshes and then merge them, displacement gets deactivated. I don't yet know how to retain displacement after merging meshes together. Do you? If so, please let me know in the comments. Remember, if you found this video useful, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell, and leave a comment. Shout out to Hyrax Games for teaching me this during my last live stream. I do live Unreal Engine development every Wednesday and Saturday at 4 p.m. CST. I'm currently working on my animated short film in Unreal Engine. Join us. And if you'd like to support my work, check out patreon.com forward slash Bodhi the Movie Maker, where you'll get access to the short films, the novels, it'll get you credited in the back of the book when they are published to the public, it gets you access to the private community, a 15% off discount on merch, there's hundreds of posts, including many illustrations by myself and the professional illustrator Gus Trouth. It's just five bucks a month with no commitment. Plus, you'll get shout outs at the end of videos like this. There is a free version of the Patreon, and we'll even throw in a 5% merch discount for free Patreon members. Thanks for watching. Love ya. Bye.